My name's David Fox, and uh, I'm originally from a, uh, a small town called Blenheim in southwestern Ontario. It's a, a rural town, a lot of farming. I've been teaching at Trios in the Sioux College Partnership uh, for about two years now. My position at this point is actually that of a program coordinator. So. I spend a lot of time uh, doing curriculum development for the business program for all the different classes. When I do teach, uh, I primarily teach uh, international business law, uh, managerial accounting, uh, financial accounting. Anybody who wants to be, whether it's in business or any other field, needs to have at least some understanding and some skills in financial accounting, perhaps managerial accounting, to understand payroll, the withholdings. These are things that are just expected. So in our accounting and payroll programs, uh, we start from the very beginning of financial accounting. So what are the different financial statements? What do they show? Double entry journal uh, accounting. Uh, we get into inventory. Um, depreciation, um, the, whole, the whole span of, of the financial accounting field. We then add to that courses uh, which help the student in terms of being able to do uh, financial bookkeeping. So we have Sage 50, uh, for example, courses in which uh, students learn to actually use the technology that they're going to use in the real world to do the accounting books, the payroll uh, for active companies uh, and then produce the reports that those companies want to make decisions. We also add to that something, uh, courses in, for example, managerial accounting, which is different than financial accounting. So managerial accounting, where our focus is the process and the cost of that process really breaking down business processes as leaders to determine, is this the best way we can do this? It's a common misconception that you have to be very good in math in order to be very good in accounting, payroll, or tax. That's inaccurate. I grew up surrounded by education. My, both of my parents were teachers. I started out in law and accounting, uh, and I did my time there. Uh, but this was always something that was inside me from growing up. And I got to a point where I said, well, you know, uh, I've done this for this amount of time, and uh, if I don't go into this now, I might not, I might not be able to make that switch. So I went, I got my Master's of Education, I applied, got some teaching roles, then got the Program Coordinator role. Whether it's an accountant or another profession, an intellectual curiosity is really, really important. So not just taking things at face value, but trying to understand them. Looking at things and thinking about them and thinking about if they make sense and then digging in a little bit, investigating a little bit, researching uh, to figure out uh, is what I'm seeing uh, accurate. We teach the accounting classes, the payroll classes, uh, tax, and the beauty of that is if you really work at it and you, you learn it, you can start your own bookkeeping business at your dining room table. There is not a, a high barrier to entry into that. And that's something that you can keep going throughout your life, even with another job, or that can be your job. So you start with bookkeeping, you've learned how to use the software here, and then that leads into preparing basic tax returns. The government, has a, a lot of roles uh, for people with a financial background, be it with the Canada Revenue Agency, 
Ministry of Finance, the provincial government, federal government, both of them have lots of roles. You know, then there are, you know, the larger accounting firms um, that focus on things like audit uh, or tax or consulting, different areas of financial services. When you have these financial skills and knowledge, there are so many different directions that you can go apart from just the, what everybody thinks about, which is preparing tax returns or preparing financial statements. One thing I love about teaching is I love the students. I am passionate about advocating for students to help them find their success, understanding that what is success for each student is very different.